Hello, dear friends. Reflecting prophecies of various authors, which could even be contradictory, doesn't mean that I am betting on any of them, but it's interesting to know different opinions about the world situation we live in and about what could come in the new year. Opinion piece Black Horse Year, Bow Polnis Interpretation, The Third Houseman of the Relations, The Reset Comes with the Black Horse. The third seal would be the financial reset. We are blessed to live in biblical times. February 1st will begin the year of the water tiger. Gods drive a tyrant mad when they wish to destroy him. Let's start. Biblical cycle timing expert and geopolitical and financial analyst Bo Polney has predicted a new era that would now be at our doorstep. He predicts that truth would be coming to mankind and the scales would be balanced in what Pony calls the year of the Black Horse in 2022. He opines that to protect asses, all you need is physical gold and silver, but first would be our relationships with the Creator. Polny explains, in quotes, we are now at the point of the big one, the great exposure, the great rem removal, the great fall, the great overturning, and the greatest movement of God's spirit in the history of the world. This will relate directly to a great transfer of wealth. Polny says this mirrors the third seal of Revelation and goes on to explain, in quotes, there are two things that are written on that, and that is a black horse, which is a representation of death, and its scales, which is a rebalancing of the financial system. He is of the opinion that the black horse cannot be stopped. According to Polny, there are seven seals, and we have not seen the third seal, which could be the great financial reset. The financial reset comes with the dark horse. It is truly historic, but it is biblical. We are blessed to live in biblical times. The third horseman. The third horseman in St. John Apocalypse is a foot mechanic riding a black horse symbolizing famine. According to Edward Bishop Eliot's interpretation, through this third seal, the black horse is unleashed, representing aggravated distress and mourning. The scales in the horseman's hand are not associated with the man waiting pieces of bread in major measure for his family's consumption, but with the buying and selling of corn and other gains, grains, I mean. And during the time of the Apostle John's exiles on the Greek island of Patmos, the scales were commonly, commonly a symbol of justice as they were used to wait grain for a fixed price. The balance of justice held in the, band, in the hand of the rider of the black horse signified the aggravation of the other previous evil, with the blood stained red on the Roman aspect transforming into the blackness of anguish. The rider of the black horse is instructed not to harm the oil and wine, meaning that this is scarcity should not fall on the superfluous such as oil and wine, without which men can live, but on the necessities of life, it is to say bread, basical, basical food. Biblical calendar. Polnish biblical calendar shows an 80% stock market cash crash in 2022. Polnish says, in quotes, you have the dark horse event and it tends to move with the stock market. Every 40 years, two things tend to happen, a war and a big crash. If you look at 1942, a draw and black line to 1982, we are looking at a potential 80% drop in the stock market next year. That would reduce the Dow Jones index possibly to the 7,000 point range. In relation to Bitcoin, that means, in his opinion, 
it would probably collapse as well and would cause Bitcoin to drop 80%. That would be 80% of its high and the high will be $100,000 a unit to $300,000 a unit. But we haven't seen the crazy yet. We are going to see it go crazy because of the dollar event that's coming. The good news is that evil will be fully exposed in what he calls a wild truth celebration. Polny predicts all these people go down, all the sisters who have drawn the well are exposed. Not only are they exposed, but they fall and lose their wealth. They lose everything and they lose all their finances. If the people who run the market are no longer getting paid, they are going to take their hand off the buy button and the next thing you know a collapse happens. Year of the Taiga In the traditional Chinese horoscope of the 12 animals, 2022 is the year of the water taiga, which follows the year of the metal ox in 2021, and will be marked by a strong sense of movement and will. It will be a hectic and energetic year, during which it will be necessary to put a lot of high frequency to achieve dreams and goals. This animal is the third sign in the Chinese horoscope cycle. It is located between the ox and the rabbit. The tiger is known in China as the king of all animals. In fact, the animal represents strength, power, exorcism of evils and courage. In addition, those who belong to this sign are people who need adventure and fully enjoy life and courage. Although this sometimes leads them down dangerous paths. The China's year begins on February 1st, 2022 and ends on January 21st, 2023. The new cycle will be the natal year of the taiga. This time rolled by the water element is so related to floods of heavy rains. It will be a good time to expand your business or start one of your own. Be vigilant and watch out for someone around you who lacks moral character. You may have so much professional development that there is a good chance that you will be prompted, promoted for your excellence in employment. Chinese horoscope 2022 will be a lucky time for people at the sign of Taiga. The predictions advance that they will reach the top of life. This means that both in their family, love and professional spheres, they will give all the best they have and will receive the same in return. The year of the taiga brings for those belonging to this sign a rather calm time. You will not find the best alliances of opportunities, but at the same time you will not encounter strong obstacles that will allow you to move forward. Likewise, you will have a good economic balance since not finding many ups and downs, your finances will not be strongly affected either. Excuse me. Twenty-eight news from the reset. First, to save the world economy, the White Hats planned a global currency reset more than 20 years ago, which has been in its final stage for weeks and liquidity is expected at any time. Iraq, second one, Iraq has confirmed that all foreign combat force have been removed. The US has officially clarified that there are no longer foreign combat forces in Iraq as of Friday, December 17th. Third one, BlackRock owns almost everything and controls all industries. This is a big problem. Who runs the well the Black Rock Elite and Vanguard Global. Fourth, the great supply chain collapse. The, but the bottom line is that if supply chains are breaking down, the economy is collapsing. If the economy is collapsing, the breakdown of the social order is not far behind. Fifth, the Fed ceased to exist in May 2021 when it merged with the Treasury which removed Rockefeller's control of oil. Sixth, 
In 2018, the US Inc. Corporation was in bankruptcy. The bankruptcy ended between February and March 2021. The final station ran out on Wednesday, December 15, 2021. Seventh, Donald Trump is about to launch his Truth Social platform on Telegram as a replacement to, for Facebook and could be used as an emergency broadcast system. Eighth, Joe Biden will not be at the White House Visitor Center. Ninth, Facebook parent company Meta said Israeli firm Black Cube used fake names posing as students, human rights activists, and TV producers to arrange calls to its touches and obtain personal email addresses. Tenth, the Satanic Temple will install the Sol Invictus Christmas display in the state capital Rotunda. This is the 30 year in a row that the display of Baphomet de depicted as a swaddled baby will be on display instead of the child of the Christ child. I mean. Uh, China. 11. China Epigram Group defaults on 82.5 million dollars in interest that is part of the larger 5,000 billion debt, which is mostly real estate representing 30% of China's GDP. 12. Um, Standard & Poor leaves China's real estate giant Evergrande in receivership. 13. China's real estate distress affects the steel sector as a warning site as a warning sign for the economy. 14. Epigrant's shareholder privatization plan fails when investors in Chinese states holding limited rejected the offer. 15. China's local governments cut wages amid growing debt crisis. At least five Chinese provinces have slashed public sector salaries by 20 to 30 percent. 16. The US accuses Chinese technology companies and research institutes of using biotechnology to create weapons to control the brain. 17. The US has blacklisted eight Chinese companies to DJI, the world's largest commercial drone manufacturer, for helping to surveil Uyghurs in Xinjiang, China. 18. North Korea bans Lota for 11 days for the 10th anniversary of the death of the Supreme Leader's father. Mm. 19. Dutch bubble bursting pushes stocks down 80 percent. Correcting. 20. Insiders are dumping stocks at the fastest pace in history. 21. They found $43 quadrillion under the Vatican's 150-mile tunnel. 22. On Friday, December 17th, penguins were arrested in an Operation Stinger in Antarctica. 23rd. Ten countries will control the emergency broadcast system. Many different languages will be needed. It is ready to go according to White Plush. 347. 24. Citizens have been warned to stock up on essentials such as gasoline and milk ahead of a projected dollar crash in 2022, according to Jess Powell, CEO of Crypto Exchange Kraken. 25. Jess Powell also predicts that Bitcoin would sink below $40,000, having earlier this year predicted a price of a $100, I mean, dollars, no, $100,000, and suggests paying tuition and healthcare fees up from because he also believes there will be a jubilee 
at some point for investors. 26. Free energy. The ether of the world is the most powerful reserver of energy in the cosmos, capable of powering all the mechanisms that surround us. In other words, it's the medium through which light travels. Its multitasking capabilities make it the ideal and most creative solution of the world's energy problem. 27. Decline of the dollar. The dollar is already being replaced in various transactions around the world. Trump accelerated the dollarization with his trade wars and the dollarization is increasing in American countries that have stopped accepting dollars for oil. Other countries have tiptoed away from their dependence of the, on the dollar. China, Russia and India have struck deals agreeing to accept each other currencies for bilateral trade, while Europe obviously designed the euro as an independent reserve asset as, and the medium of international exchange. These were challenges to the dollar's dominance. 28. Winter's Salt Ties to Trigger Big Changes by Benjamin Fulford. With planetary liberation, it is time to think about what victory will look like. Now that the winter solstice of December, or solstice of December 21st is approaching, we must imagine the world where love, hope, charity, friendship, and all those good things dominate public and political discourse. Once we are liberated, we will be able to decide for ourselves what kind of world we want. There is no doubt that we are about to enter an era of exponential expansion of terrestrial life, including human life in the universe. Think about what an ideal planet would look alike and how we can get from here to there. New Dawn New Dawn by Steve Sage The projected time limit for private banking and treasury compliance appears to be November 2022. However, the G20 and friends have already been engaged for a long time. They are simply waiting for the directive to flip the switch. The switch. Another 160 nations are eager to intervene in a few weeks to avoid the risk of exclusion in a rapidly progressing scenario. As always, there is a penalty for falling behind. It is a new dawn for Gaia. There is no better sound in the universe that, than that of metal shackles clinking as they hit the ground. There is no better feeling in the universe when love exhorts you to help a living being in need. There is a setting celebration that occurs when we humans turn away from evil and embrace the magnificence that is the better part of duality. There will be a swift breeze of heightened discernment that will spread like wildfire among the peoples. Soon we will learn that there is already new leadership for Gaia, indeed at a much higher level that some might think. A new consciousness has come to inspire us. There were prophets and angels, those who can combine them, their inner divinity with the music of the spheres, will nurture the nations to new heights of love and light. Conspiracy in the Vatican The great stratagem of Pope Benedict XVI on December 17, 2012, Cardinal Begoglio's birthday, three cardinals presented Paul, Pope Benedict XVI with a 300-page dossier in strict secrecy. This dossier was the result of a detailed investigation ordered by Pope Benedict XVI and exposed several scandals about the Vatican hierarchy. This hierarchy was composed of the cardinal of the St. Gallen Mafia, who acted swiftly against Pope Benedict XVI demanding his resignation in short order to avoid its expulsion. On February 11, 2013, the Pope Benedict XVI read aloud in consistory the text of an invalid formula 
for the papal resignation. That night, an omen appeared when lightning, lightning struck on the dome of St. Peter's Basilica. In quotes, with an invalid resignation, Pope Benedict XVI was, has canonically invalidated everything that Pecoglio has done, can do and may do. Canon law prevents the resignation of a Pope by coercion, and Bergoglio is so entangled with this stratagem of Benedict's that he cannot admit its existence, because if he did, he would have to renounce his right to the papacy. Julia Mel Meloni's book, The Mafia of St. Gallen, offers a valuable service to readers curious about the origins of the current pontificate. Drawing on a wide range of sources, she completes the picture of a group of influential prelates who conspired for years to elect a materialistic-minded Pope. Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, allocution of May 13, 1820. In quotes, I also saw the relationship between two Popes. I saw how dire would be the consequences of this false church. I saw it increase in size. Heretics of all kinds came to the city of Rome. The local clearly became lukewarm, and I saw a great darkness. Then the vision seemed to spread everywhere. Whole Catholic communities were being oppressed, harassed, confined and deprived of their freedom. I saw many churches closed, great miseries everywhere, wars and bloodshed. A wild and ignorant mob took violent measures, but it didn't last long. Once again, I saw the church of Peter undermined by a plan developed by the secret sect, while storms damaged it. But I also saw help arrive when the distress has reached his, its peak. I again saw the blessed vision ascend over the church and spread her mantle. Reflections X-22 report People now see inflation as a big problem. And who is responsible? People also believe inflation is going to skyrocket. Trackers warn that if they push mandates, they will affect the supply chain. Stefan, Stefan's advice Please stay patient and calm. Try to stay away from the information chaos, especially regarding the RV. There are many people out there who certainly don't have very good intentions when they disseminate, share or even translate information. You will always notice that when it comes to two restrictions or limitation on sharing, the Alliance never restricts us. Do not wait for time by TM. As we count the remaining grains on sand inside this comic, cosmic hourglass of time, destroy it, for we have a quantum clock. Consider the honor of being conscious as you watch the event unfold. Puffiness Office Weekly Report I'll be home after Christmas. It's important to hold steady. Be willing to float through the next few days. Do good deeds and up your ain't a bit. Loved ones need to be safe and friends are struggling. Be in the flow with awareness and wisdom. All is going well this holiday season. You will have a lot to check off your wish list for 2022. Why do the powers that be persist in destroying their own home planet? Don't these people live on the same planet, work in the same world? and play in the same territory as the rest of us. Don't they drink the same water, eat the same food, breathe the same air? When we look at the history of the planet, we see the landscape lacked by the ravages of war, conflict and terrible oppression. There are so many examples of massive resource theft on a grand scale that sometimes one wonders if this place could be he hell. Of course, it is only hell for those who created it, and those who run the place have always played an important role in the tragic side of life, but not without many of us acting as accomplices, consciously 
or unconsciously. In his book, in his book entitled When the Gods Play, Alain Danelou pointed out the following dynamic that occurs throughout and especially at the end of the Kali Yuga. In quotes, when the gods wish to destroy an evil tyrant, they inspire madness in him to lose himself. Drugs are among their armaments. They are irrational and immoderate intrusion signals the imminent end of the species at the end of Kali Yuga. Cries of Pain Can't you hear the cries, the cries of pain? By Mary Hame Dear Creator God and Galactics, You are all powerful and have great knowledge. You could send an army of angles to protect the innocent, to guide those who are lost and to counsel those who are about to commit atrocities. Yet, you do nothing about the pain and suffering on Earth. Why do you hinder Earth with all these dark forces? Why do you stand by and do nothing to help the people, animals and ecosystems that are suffering on Earth? Can you hear the cries of pain? Create us in the game. Within the realms of possibilities, simultaneous possibilities have been presented for humankind to choose from, leaving us to learn and distinguish what we do not want, which has become ingrained in the human psyche as a way of being. It is too confusing for humankind to choose what it really wants because of the constant bombardment of our senses by every possible means. How can humans overcome such a constant interference in, in our earthly life? Just create, accept your divinity, release what you think you want because it may simply be an aspect of ego. Stay aligned with the Creator and we will stand with him who knows what is the greatest good for humankind. Be light in the darkness that has blinded our fellow man believes that the Creator has it all in hand and requires evil to destroy itself while repeating this well and while the criminals level the, the playing field. It's all about positioning. When all the dominoes are in place, a glorious event will cascade. Many faulty dominoes have been removed. All we are exposed to now are stories that no longer make sense. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.